Welcome back my friends to another cinematic color grading CapCut PC tutorial. So it's going to be a very easy cinematic color grading CapCut PC tutorial and I'm going to go straight right onto it and create something cinematic for us to watch. Your color grading should depend on your mindset. Remember every cinematic feel you get has to do with the mood okay because we've watched so many cinematic movies in the past and we know for a fact that we'll get different looks and feel to it so not wasting your time let's start so i'm going to hit the plus and bring in this clip as you can see it's going to be short so please sit back relax don't click off and watch to the end so now let's do this right yes so now we want to go to adjustments all right and what i usually do and start with is the curve there's something i learned too earlier on and you can watch that in my previous video i like to increase the saturation to the max okay so do you see what it gives me that color already but then we need to adjust some other colors because you can see it's not yet popping as you can see so let's go to curves and this is where the magic usually happen when it comes to cinematic color grading in CapCut the curves so now let's bring in something so that you can monitor a bit so that something is the color oscillate scope so we're going to turn that on and this is what we want to monitor you see where this barrier is we want to bring it a little bit down and this we don't want it to overshoot this 10 23 at the top so we are just going to make points in the curves so to the top you have the white you have the black then you have the shadow highlights and mid-tone so we are just going to adjust the highlights and the shadow okay sometimes i just like to leave the mid, mid tone where it is especially if you use a good camera it does not usually make a lot of difference so now i'm going to move this upwards to just try to push this closer to this point so I'll just do that okay as you can see i'm not over pushing it so i'm going to try to push this down just to balance it out a bit not much okay as you can see this gives it that good feeling already so we don't want to overdo it if you want to get black out you can just move this a bit like that all right you can do that little and you can also reduce the white in the image okay as you can see reduced a lot of the white and now once we're done with that we can come back to basics and then we walk from here remember you always want to turn on skin tone so that it does not affect this skin of whoever is in this video or image so we're going to turn that on very important and then we'll move down all right so you see we have saturation we have temperature you can now try to reduce saturation if you want or if you still want the saturation up there then it's fine but i like it at 37 most times it works then temperature this is where it gives that extra cinematic but it does not pop because we are going to do that in the hsl tab so we'll just work with the temperature as you can see all right so this temperature you can make it more to the blue temperature code or you make it somewhere like that but for me most cinematic feel to me is always warm except it's a night scene this is a cool afternoon in summer so it should be warm right for the all i can bring this a bit to the green like so you can also take it there but if i bring it to the green part it should work better okay so that's where i want it to be let's leave that 13 then let's go to 
the HSL. So now you can now work with individual colors as you can see. She has this blue code so we can bring that color out by increasing the saturation on that as you can see if we reduce it we take that blue out totally but if we do increase it we get it in there all right all again you can reduce or increase to give it that pink sky so it's totally up to you what you want to do brightness we can leave that I just want to make the blue pop because blue is the more prominent color in here okay so we have that then we can go over to green green is for the grasses as you can see so if we increase the saturation you see all of a sudden that's where because green is the most dominant color in this sh sh shot once I increase it it changed this video totally as you can see bringing it to life so we can do that with the all to just change it to a different color whatever we want we can change it to that blue so you see the way we brought it out made it greener and now it's differentiated from this far end colors which is perfect okay we have no red but you can see these flowers they have a bit of red so we can try to make that pop and see if it works okay a little it works a little so it's something we can just play with so it worked a little and now that we have that we can now go back we might want it bright like this let's just show what, what we've done so if i go from here so this is what we'll have you, you see as we brought it to life simple then you can go over and reduce other things like brightness okay if you want to make it a bit dark okay you can do that if you want to make it bright which you don't want to do because once you do that remember what i said in the beginning you're overshooting this barrier and you don't want that so you can just make it a bit bright i think the brightness is okay contrast okay i think that is okay too highlights all uh, right so that for me is okay shadows okay so we have a perfect looking image now and we just have to do one more thing this vignette if you want the vignette you can put in vignette it's up to you if you don't want it you can take it out fade just does what fade does reduce it making it feel more in the zone right and particles it just add grain to the image as if you can see if you look closely to this top part you see what i'm talking about so we can reduce that sharpness you can also reduce that but it can also destroy your image so be really careful when you do that so we just reduce that to about one not too much i don't want it to be too sharp and there you go see you on the next one stay blessed